Der nächste Kampf wird wieder ausgetragen nach WLF Reglement in der Klasse bis 75 Kilo. Ebenfalls äh, drei Runden, A3 Minuten. Ich darf den Wettkämpfer vorstellen. Der Gast in der blauen Ecke, 21 Jahre alt, 1,78 Meter groß, gewogen mit exakt 75 Kilogramm. Auch er wird betreut durch Herr Schau. Bisher sieben Kämpfe, fünf Siege, einen beendet er vorzeitig durch Knockout. Vom Team Hulinfeng in China, Yi Xiang! Sein Gegenüber in der äh, Roten Ecke, 26 Jahre alt, 1,78 groß, äh, gewogen mit 74,6 Kilogramm. Äh, bisher 32 Kämpfe, 25 Siege, 12 Bände da vorzeitig durch Knockout. Er ist amtierender Europameister nach Version äh, der WKU. Vom Team Alaus in Bochum, Karim Alaus. Okay, so we've got the first of the uh, uh, male main event fighters now, uh, Ji Zhang from China and Karim Alus from uh, Bochum in Germany. Yes, uh, on the round one. Fighting at the 75 kilo weight. So both boys coming in and uh, landing some pretty heavy uh, leg kicks to straight away. So, Ji Zhang from China is a, a younger fighter with less fights. Uh, Karim, uh, you know, 12 KOs, 32 fights. So, uh, but then, you know. Karim was in uh, one of the best uh, 72 kilogram fighters in Germany and a couple of years ago, I think two years ago, he fights against Dima Weimar. Oh yes, yeah. And uh, he fight. broke his leg. Right. And he needs a long, long time to coming back. He made his first K1 fight last year in September and now it's second fight. Right. He's strong, good kicks, good condition. Yeah. 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 Well, coming back after a leg break, it'll put, always put you slightly on the edge if uh, for using the using that, so you don't injure it again. But uh, he certainly doesn't seem to be shy of the uh, putting power in on the legs now and kicking hard. Good spinning back kick. Yep. Yep. So we've got uh, information down here that the Chinese fighters only on seven fights, but uh, I think he looks a bit more seasoned than that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Karim just picking his shots there, nice and accurate with the head punching. Yeah. Yeah. And the Chinese fighters picking off that right, a left leg of uh, Karim as well, just trying to pick it off, pick it off, slow him down. Karim is also a member of the managing, uh, te managing team from uh, Daniel Ilunga, the German fighters fighting for glory and uh, yesterday at GFC in Dubai. Right. Yeah, Karim using the uh, side kicks that are favored by the Chinese fighters from the Shansho and Sandar fighting. Uh, yep, oh, yep, going for... Just skimmed that off, would have been a nice takedown there for Karim. Nice spinning back kick. Oh, yeah. So, last 10 seconds of round. Uh, 
Ende der ersten Runde. Chinese fighter showing just a little bit more of a marking on the body there from some of the kicking. So yeah, I was just saying that uh, the Chinese fighter is showing uh, a few, a bit more marks on the body there from some of the heavy shots that he's been taking from Karim. The power it was in the first round, it was uh, it, come, it comes from Karim, and was a good round uh, for him. Mm. And uh, every time when a Chinese fighter uh, getting a hard hit, he, he smiles, smiles. But it, uh, it means he knows what what's coming up. I yeah. Mean, he, yeah. 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 Second Sound, Betreuer wieder aus dem Ring. Und die zweite Runde, Round 2. Geh gerade durch, ich warte, geh gerade durch. Ich warte durch, du. Wenn ihr den Polster bitte zurückziehen. Jawohl, aber rechts hinterher, Karim. Nach links, du warte rechts hinterher. Geh dann langsam nach vorne. Tschüss, danke. Jawohl. Okay, kein Problem. Rechts rein, hinter der Bein. Danach hinter der Bein. Rechts rein, rechts anfangen. Ja. Alaus is still working forward. Good kick from Ji Xiang. Yeah, really picking those shots off nicely from Karim. You know, really nice and accurate headshots. Oh, no, it's coming back. Yeah, yeah, really loading those up and firing them back. Yeah, it's quite nicely matched with some of the uh, power, but. Uh, I think Karim's just a little bit more accurate and heavy hitting in the hands. Yep. But, oh, lovely there, lovely, lovely cross. Right hand over the top. So Karim throws a throw, a spinning back kick there, and the Chinese fighter comes and just pays in the same respect and throws one back. Yeah. Good exchanges. You can see those uh, body shots to the ribs are starting to pay their price a little bit from uh, Karim's landing those in. You can see the five Chinese fighters are starting to wince a little bit there. But holding his own, still keeping on pushing forward to you from uh, China. Yeah, we've got some uh, good, good, nice, accurate punching and techniques there from Karim. And the Chinese fighter pushing back hard. He, he shows good kicks, but most of them are, uh, are going to the glove. So, yeah, just seem to be missing the mark a little bit, don't they? Uh, could do it a bit more accuracy, and Karim certainly seems to be much sharper on the hand techniques. Punching his hands, accuracy and speed is much better. Oh, last 10 seconds and Karim's really opening up and showing, you know, that he wants this fight. And as you, as you were saying earlier, Tobias, when you were you know, refereeing out in glory, uh, the guys out there were saying, don't leave the decision to the judges, make sure that you own it and they know it. most powerful uh, techniques uh, and punches are coming definitely from from Karim and uh, yeah I, it just looks a bit more seasoned on the power training yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, looks a bit better conditioned. Yep. A bit more used to hitting and kicking hard yeah. and landing. Yes. Yeah. So we're just coming up into round three now. Third and final three round. Refereed by one of the official judges from China in the uh, Wulinfeng WLF uh, team. Chinese fighter just being a little bit dirty there, trying to push the head back. You, uh, you, you see the Chinese guy will fighting a uh, traditional Muay Thai style when he uh, will push up, uh, push away his head, the head from Karim. Yeah. yeah. And they clinch. Uh, both working hard on this one. Ji Jiang, he knows he must he must do anything that when he will win this fight. Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of ground to make up, um, so he's got to work hard in this third round. Karim just needs to keep working, keep picking away. Pick and choose his shots, don't get reckless. Good round kick to the body there. I'm not sure if Karim knows uh, the traditional uh, rules from WLF. Mm. Oh, Ooh. beautiful flying yeah. knee from G from China there. Really, really beautiful. The flying done. gentleman from China is coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Really great work on the knee there. And the Chinese referee doing very well to keep them working and keep them splitting them up. Don't let them get into a clinch at all. Not, not stay there at all. Yeah, just pushing back into the corner now. I think both fighters are a bit tired now, uh, starting to tell halfway through the third round. I mean, uh, this is uh, Karim uh, said yes to this fight two days ago, so uh, it was a short time. Oh, beautiful the takedown there by uh, Karim. Yeah, beautiful takedown, but it shows also that Karim is a fighter. He will fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter one, two days before the fight. Say yes. That's great. So you only took this fight two days ago? Yes. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just you know, tantamount to his uh, conditioning and, and ongoing continuous training. But yeah, the Chinese fighter now loading some good leg kicks in there, slowing down. Whereas, you know, Karim's just using the hands and just picking off the punches. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Karim's corner there, just encouraging him to come, keep on working, keep on working. Yeah. And that's it, end of round three. So I think that the judge's decision will take it in favour of Karim. Um, he certainly seemed to do the extra little bit and go the extra mile on the work. And he feels confident and thinks, uh, you know, no question about it. Die Kampfrechte haben entschieden, Sieger nach Punkten, der Kämpfer aus der roten Ecke, Karim Alaus. Rightly so, and rightly done, Karim's taking the fight there.